Here we are today again, Bazooka Hoops coming at you with a new shoe. Super excited for this one. We have the LaMelo Ball MB3 Dexter's Laboratory, fresh off the press. Thank you for tuning in today and we have a very special one very colorful one here for you so before we break it down let's go ahead and subscribe comment and share type of hooper i am i work out of the triple threat very often hard cuts side to side movements i rely on my tractions step backs fadeaways hard drives the color way we have today is a banger an absolute banger we have the dexter's laboratory I mean, if you've taken the, the things, you know the things that the visions they give you. And these are the visions they give you. They're colorful. They're beautiful. And this is colorful. This is beautiful. Big fan of the colors here. I like how the different colors coming up the shoe. And on the back, we have some touches of the black and the white. Same with the tongue. We have the black and the white all on the front. And the, with our touches of colorfulness on the front there. Like the way this blue speckle comes on this midsole. Big fan of blue. I heard the rumors that uh, the Rick and Mortys for the Mellows are not going to be coming out. They're just rumors. Um, I was a little impatient and I didn't want to wait. So I decided to get these. You know, if they make Rick and Mortys, it's going to be a very tough decision to me not to get them. Uh, but I decided to pull the trigger on these because they were very nice and they kind of fit the type of style that I have. Yeah, and you can't tell I got the extra laces on here. I got the pink and the orange laces on here. Very beautiful look to the orange and the pink. I like the way they pop on the shoe versus the black and the white. But we have the black and the white on the opposite shoe, so we'll have mismatching laces. So that would be nice. Material on the MB3. Let's just say MB1 and MB2 had a baby and MB3 came out. So let's break it down. We have got plastic overlay all on the front uh, part of the shoe, all the way up here, coming all the way to the back. And it's going to also be on the front here. Make your way into the heel. Feels just like the ones. It feels very nice. I like the way this is, you know, the way this is. I'm sure they took it off the twos. The twos is a little bit more plasticky. Um, Tongue, outside, plasticky, inside, plush. So they're gonna give you that really nice feel that the ones had with the durability the twos had is what I'm assuming they wanted and which they got. Yeah, there isn't much difference from between the ones, twos, and now as you can see, we have the threes. You can tell that they're from the same line. They're just trying to innovate, make the shoe better as they go. But at what point does it turn into the Curries, you know? Traction we got on this, we got the all black traction um, with the pink orange writing on this one. Love my mismatch. Only thing I'm worried about on the MB3s, um, if you don't know from the MB1s and the MB2s, the solid colorways on the shoes were very rough on dust on the courts. They didn't hold up as good as the translucents. Uh, the translucent on the twos and the ones held up very well. One's kind of broke down after a while, but the twos stick like glue. I heard that the solid colorways on the threes got fixed and that they do stick good now. Um, so I'm slightly nervous, also slightly nervous that it's all black. You know that all blacks are kind of notorious for slipping a little bit. So I'm praying and hoping that these don't have that issue. Foam, we got the full nitro foam coming from straight down the toe down to the heel. Uncaged on this heel, side slightly on that back. It's gonna be plush. It's gonna be a nice smooth ride, just like the ones and twos were once you break them in. They might be a little bit uh, not as plush at first, but once you get down in there, it's gonna be feeling real good on foot. Yeah, and as far as the step and comfort as well, right when you put them on, they feel as less plasticky as the twos did right away. They felt like you could wear them a little bit easier, um, but not as nice as the ones. And I, the ones right away were like, boom, instantly good to go. You could tell that these are gonna take a little bit more time to break in, but they're gonna be good. Size, size 13. These were true to size for me with my Move insoles in the shoe. Not sponsored by Move, but Move hit me up. I'm ready. These fit good. Width, length, everything, just like the ones, just like the twos. If you like those and uh, you had a shoe size that fit well with that, stick with it. If you don't know, then I apologize. Just true to size. 
the weight on these these definitely feel a little bit heavier than normal shoes you know you know not like massively heavy uh you know like adidas is usually are like the hardened sixes um but you know they're, they're they're all right you know you can tell on foot that they're gonna feel good they're not gonna be as heavy on foot just the way that they're designed but you know in hand they're a little bit heavy but they're nothing to complain about for me. Uh, these are gonna be classics, just like the ones and twos. I love the ones and twos. Mission right away to get new basketball shoes. I wanted to preserve. I wanted to preserve these actually, but these are my outdoor hoop shoes now. I have other ones that replace the indoors. Um, but you know, that's where I got started. So I have to get the threes. I'll get every MB3 line until it can discontinue just because, you know, it got me on the journey again. I love shoes and hooping shoes, just the hidden thing I didn't think I had. Thanks for watching again today, Bazooka Hoops at ya. Hopefully we'll get you the video soon on these for a full breakdown and review on how I'm feeling about the MB3s. Thank you, don't forget to like and subscribe and share. Thank you for watching Bazooka Hoops. Thank you.